what's going on clash bashers rocky here today and today we're back in our let's play town hall 11 account and we have a lot of stuff going on on our gold pass if we take a look here we got a lot of new active challenges which is great uh, we got the uh start any two upgrades we got destroyed 30 elixir collectors we also have get 15 stars using two golems and 40 stars using 12 balloons so we're going to kind of work on these two together today which will help us kind of get the other ones as well. But we also got more rewards unlocked. We got that 15% training boost. We got hero potions. We got builder boost. Clock tower potion. I'm okay just selling that. A shovel of obstacles. Research boost. A builder potion. 10,000 dark elixir. And let's see. We'll just go ahead and sell that power potion. We are... We're doing pretty well on this pass. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on getting some upgrades. We're going to try to upgrade our king today. We only need like 17,000 Dark Elixir. So we should be able to get him going up to level 47 today. And we have a Book of Heroes to help finish him off there. So what we're going to use is we're going to use a small Go Laloon. Kind of like a Gobo Lalo, but we're going Go Laloon. No bowlers in there. We're going to have Valkyries in the record. And it's basically just going to be a small kill squad. To see if we can get some value. You know, get in there, take out maybe an air defense, a queen, any clan castle troops, maybe the eagle, something like that. And then the warden, I'm going to kind of go air or ground depending on the base we're on. Now, I was taking a look at the base and... Before we can switch to the progress base, we need to spend a little bit of elixir so I can collect that elixir cart or the loot cart with the elixir in it. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade one wall because besides lab time, that's all we have to upgrade with elixir. So we need to get that loot cart out of the way and then we can kind of go over here and grab our progress base. You see it took a second there uh, because everything's doing really well on this base. We got 22 hours left in the lab for our baby dragons and honestly, I'll probably just wait and do like the clone spell. Or we might even do something else in the next episode, we'll kind of see. But I really want to focus on getting these Archer Towers up really, really fast. So we're going to go ahead and drop down an Archer Tower. And we might even have enough loot uh, to grab another Archer Tower. We can actually grab another wall because of all the Elixir we have on hand. Uh, there we go. Another Archer Tower. Oh, these ones aren't upgraded to 15 yet. So, oh wait, hold on. Oh, why was that one cheaper? Wait a second. Okay, yeah. That, okay, that was the only one not upgraded to 14, needing to go to 15. Okay, I was really confused there for a second. I thought they were all ready to go. I didn't see that one there. And then what we'll do is we'll try to get, uh, we'll try to get another Archer Tower going today. But if we can't, we'll, you know, get some of these bombs going up because we need to finish them off as well. So that's going to be the battle plan. I want to just get the rest of that loot out of there. And I think we... Look at that. We got loot from collecting, uh, from upgrading two things in our base. We get a rune of gold, which we can't actually use that. Let's go ahead and use a rune of gold sometime in this episode. Let's see. We need to get a little bit of gold, but let's use a rune of gold today. I didn't even plan on that, but that's good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead. We're going to find us a base and we're going to go smack this. But before we do that, today's comment question of the day coming from Ghost Allen. If you could change something in the game, what would it be? It's one simple thing, and uh, a lot of... I've seen this one going around. I think some of my patrons have mentioned this. When you're on a boost, the, the clan castle re request time is just... You always have to wait. I like... Uh, especially if you're pushing. I like having clan castle troops. So I would say just a little bit shorter of a clan castle request time. What is my camera doing? My camera's like bugging up there. So maybe like uh, two minutes off of the clan castle request time for a level 10 clan. Or maybe like a level 12 clan perk. You know, that's something small that I would change in the game. Nothing major. Nothing crazy, but that's something small I would change. If you guys want your own comment question of the day submitted, uh, leave that down in the comment section with the hashtag CQOTD, and you might get selected in tomorrow's video. Also, thumbs up some of those uh, comments that you want answered. I know there's one really popular one flo floating around that I'm debating on answer regarding how much I've spent on Clash of Clans. I'm debating, guys. I might answer that soon. And also, details for the Town Hall 9 clan will be in the video later this evening. About 6 p.m. Eastern Time will be a Town Hall 9 episode with the town hall nine clan details so look forward to that i'm gonna go out i'm gonna find us a base and i'll be back with you guys in a moment all right guys so i feel like this is a good base to kind of warm up on so what i did was i took out a, uh, a few balloons a few minions and we added in five wizards for the funnel and i feel like that should be enough we're gonna have two golems plus our wall wrecker to kind of tank and help set the funnel so that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna send those two golems right in there we're gonna send the wall wrecker right up the middle and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the Warden on air. I'm going to send the Warden in with our uh, air, air portion of this raid. I think that should be pretty beneficial. 
Let's see if we can get these golems and everything going up into the base. King, queen going in. Nice. We need to get that enemy queen down. Uh, the spells, we'll see how the spells go also. There might be needing a little bit of adjustments, but I felt like this was a pretty good uh, base. It's not going to be like too crazy hard or anything like that. Uh, so we can kind of get a feel for how our army is going to perform. Oof. We need to get that eagle down. We need to get that single down, but that queen is under fire. Uh, let's go ahead and pop the queen's ability here. Getting that nice, and we'll get the Dark Elixir. I want the queen to strike down that single if we can get her to do so. She might She might not. Oh, queen, come on. All right, there she goes. Single's getting ready to go down. Okay, she barely gets that single down. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start in our hounds like so. Get our balloons kind of working on these defenses. Get the warden in behind some balloons, and then we'll go ahead and rage through here. We'll haste these ones up here. Let's save those three back end balloons. We'll get a little bit of cleanup going in there. We'll heal through this multi. We'll rage up there. I guess we didn't really need that poison. We'll swag out the poison over the king. Uh, where is my warden? My warden is back there. That's great. Good thing I saved him, right? Uh, warden, why do you do these things to me? Our hounds pop relatively fast there. That's not really a good thing. Really wish I had my warden in that area with all that traffic, but my warden's literally following around my king. That happens. That happens to the best of us. But I think we have enough to clear out everything here. So we'll go ahead. We'll put in a couple minions up there. All right. Nice. I'm going to put the last balloon there. Uh, I, I guess we could pop our, the warden to protect our king here. <laughs> I can't believe the warden. That's one downside of throwing an air warden in late to a raid. As if uh, the heroes are up, he's likely to follow those heroes around. But... We get a little bit lucky. It doesn't bother us too much in this attack. Uh, so we're able to get through here and take out everything. Oh, yeah. That, that was good. Nice little three-star to start us off. Maybe we go with the ground warden for the kill squad. I don't know. The kill squad's not too heavy, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll be back with the next raid here in a sec. All right, guys. Some pretty good loot available on this one. And we're going to try to go right into this multi-inferno over here. Uh, so we're going to set the edge over here with that golem. I put an extra wizard on that side just because I noticed uh, that Queen might step up. Uh, looks like she's going to step up over here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna set this Warden to ground this time. Since he didn't really do anything for us on the uh, set to air last time, which I know, you know, he got caught up on the King. I feel like at least this way we're more likely to get something out of him than not, you know what I mean? Uh, so we'll hit the King's ability to get him moving through there. Uh, Queen's going to the right. I'm gonna go ahead and rage these Valks up here in a sec. Uh, Gil, Valkies, go. Actually, they're, <laughs> that siege machine is just staying up and taking down the Eagles single-handedly. That's what I'm talking about. That's good stuff right there. Queen getting down a bow. We're gonna hit the Warden's ability there. Another bow going down. And we're gonna go in right behind. Right in over here. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff working in. Ooh, that was a little bit sloppy on those balloon placements there. Now let's go ahead and rage there. We'll haste them up there. Hit the Queen's ability! That way she doesn't go down. Uh, we do have a heal we can use on our balloons here if they get uh, they get hit too hard by those wizard towers, which it looks like we'll just go ahead and heal to be safe. All right, that's all looking good. We, get a, we even get a freeze for the backside. Uh, we got a few more balloons to sprinkle in here. All right, I'm going to poison these air larries, <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and drop in a freeze right there. All right, let's see. We got cleanup pretty much all around. Just need those last few defenses down, and we're going to be good. All right, so we'll throw in those minions there, and we are going to be gravy for another three-star. I like it, guys. I like it. The, the Go Lalo working out. I should have went back home and made sure we're getting proper progress for this. I was pretty sure it said two golems and 12 balloons, right? We're definitely using that much. We'll go back home and just double check to be safe, but working pretty well, getting quite a bit of loot, and that's what I like to see. I always get quite a bit of loot. I don't think I showed off how much this army costs, though. I always like to do that so you guys have an idea. Remember, I do have the discounted training because of my gold pass, uh, which helps out with those dark elixir costs when we're dark elixir farming, but... I also like knocking out two and one. This one's probably going to be pretty Dark Elixir heavy. Uh, but there we go. 500,000, 463, and 5k Dark Elixir, which should offset some of those heavy Dark Elixir costs. Plus, we get a bonus right there. 
Uh, let me go ahead and get a request while we wait on the heroes. Uh, this army is going to cost us 2100 uh, Dark Elixir, 187,000 Elixir. That's actually not too bad for us using two Golems and two Lava Hounds. That's not too crazy. Uh, let's go. We get our daily completed there. Okay. We're looking like we're in a good spot. We're going to keep it moving. Uh, let's get rid of this tree. What are you, what are you doing, tree? Uh... Oh no, we have runes to use. Let's see if we can pop a rune real quick. All right, so we'll upgrade this bomb right here. We'll get you going. I don't know where the bombs go. All right, bombs go way over there. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding, bomb. All right, we'll, we'll just throw that right there for now. And then let's go ahead and use that rune of gold that we have uh, so that we can upgrade some more stuff and collect the one from our season pass. So we'll upgrade uh, one of the Archer Towers to level 15 there. I guess we need to fix this, but we'll go ahead and collect that rune of gold, and we are in a good spot, guys. Making positive moves. Uh, we're going to keep farming. We're going to keep it going. we got to get just a little bit more Dark Elixir for our king. Let's keep this momentum going. All right, guys. One way to offset that huge Dark Elixir cost is find huge Dark Elixir raids. 7,900 Dark Elixir. you got to be pumped about that as a farmer. Uh, let's go out here. We'll get our golems going in. Again, we're just setting the funnel here. We could probably even save one of our wizards right there. Uh, once that wall record gets in there, we're going to go ahead and get King Queen going in. So King Queen. We're going to go Ground Warden again. I kind of like the Ground Warden in there. Let's go ahead and throw that wizard on that Tesla. See if we can get a little extra funneling going on. All right, that's working out. We really just need a path. Our heroes... Ooh, our king's going down. Our heroes might actually do something weird. I didn't even really think about... The funnel for the eagle they might not get to that eagle which could be a bad thing i don't know we'll see what the queen does if we can get out two air defenses though that's pretty sick uh, let's go ahead and rage up the valks coming out of the clan castle nice queen's doing a great job over here we're gonna go ahead and pop the warden's ability valks get down that single valks get down the single oh it's so close all right the valks get down the single queen we will pop your ability there and we are on our ways guys holy crap i'm gonna let this just develop a little bit more and we we got out like 60 percent with our kill squad <laughs> who needs to lalo when you got 60 percent out with your kill squad holy crap now that eagle is gonna be a pain but that's okay let's um uh, i'm gonna drop a rage there drop a rage there just to try to move right on through here oh, i was trying to get all of that get the eagle get the multi get it all but we we missed a little bit uh, so we'll go ahead and heal these balloons right over there. Poison the air larrys. Haste in there that last spot. And we are golden. Look at this, guys. We got swag troops out here. Oh, that's that's a nice raid. That was that kill squad was OP on that base. Holy crap. You see those balloons just make a left turn to take that king out? <laughs> we still got a hound up. That was crazy good. And it was like 8k Dark Elixir. You gotta love that. Oh, man. That, that gets me real excited fighting like 8k Dark Elixir. 7,900 plus our bonus of 740. That's some huge gains right there. Let's keep that up. All right, guys. Let's give this base a shot. I think we should be able to do pretty well. An Inferno is upgrading. An Air Defense is upgrading. So I think we should be able to get in here and do some positive things on it. I'm going to put three wizards in over there just to clear out a little bit. We'll put an extra. Well, we'll put the other two right there. I'll put two minions right there just to clear out also. I think they can clear those all up. We'll go wall wrecker right about here. And then we'll send everything right up the middle. Wizard, I need you to get that down. Thank you. Perfect. Wizard gets down that uh, little builder hut. I didn't want my heroes like wandering off because of a builder hut. Uh, so the wrecker should be able to get through here pretty well. Do some positive things and get us into that core compartment where we will rage up our Valks. Take out that queen. And keep moving on through the base. King's doing good. He's uh, he's taking a little bit of damage, let's be honest. But he's doing all right. Let's go ahead and rage our queen to take out the enemy queen. I should have probably poisoned her. Out pop the Valkyries. Let's go ahead and hit that Warden ability. Instead of just wasting it like we did last time. Uh, all these bows down here are set to ground, which is going to be amazing. And Okay, we're looking really good again. We almost get to 50%. We probably could get to 50% before putting in the balloons, but... Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw in our balloons, throw in our hounds. Uh, we'll haste in here. Yeah, this is this is going really well. Let's uh, go ahead and get more balloons in over there. We'll haste again. Get all this stuff working through. We'll heal through here. Uh, tornado trap going off. Nice tornado trap, but it doesn't really matter at this point. We have so much... 
like so much clear on this base, we are fine. Uh, we should probably actually just hold off on our spells. Uh, just because we kind of want a hound to pop, but it's not going to pop. Uh, Alright, well, that happens sometimes. You get unpopped hounds, and then you have cleanup issues. So what we'll do is we'll use that last haste to move the balloons through for cleanup. We'll let those ones over there kind of clear out. And then we'll kind of see... I think if we drop the haste here, we can get some pretty good balloon value. Moving them on through the base. There we go. Alright, some of them drop... Oh, I was hoping some would go towards the dark storage. Alright, we should be alright though. We still got 48 seconds, but another 3 star. This strategy's been doing pretty well against these 12s. Cleaning up these bases and getting those triples. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. If you go 3 star... I mean, we're not like trying to push or anything, but... It's going pretty decently, honestly. As long as we have that good funnel set with two golems, it's pretty good to set a funnel. Uh, we're doing good things. Let's hit one more, which I think will clear out some of the tasks, and then we'll see where we're at on our base, and then we'll kind of go from there. Alrighty, guys, we got another huge base here with a ton of Dark Elixir, 6,500 Dark Elixir. Not so much Golden Elixir, but that's all right. Uh, let's go ahead and start our first golem in here. Let him get working. We're going to go second golem right there, and then we're going to go Wall Wrecker right in here. Uh, actually, we can throw another wizard right in there. Where I, was that, did I call the wizards golems? Uh, I, I do stuff like that, and then you guys make fun of me for it in the comment section. Like, haha, Bash doesn't know how to talk! Hurts my feelings, guys. It hurts my feelings, man! No, honestly, I, I, I slip up like that quite a bit, and I just don't think it's a big deal, so it's whatever. Like, I, you know, I said I was going to Town Hall 12 yesterday when I was upgrading my Town Hall 4 to Town Hall 5. Things happen. It happens to the best of us. Uh, man, these kill squads are actually pretty killer with the king and queen and two golems and then those Valks popping out of there. It's been working pretty nicely. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to get in here. I'm going to let that uh, Archer Tower go down. Queen was literally chasing the king. Archer Tower is going to go down. We're starting a few balloons here. We're going to go another hound right here. We'll rage up over this stuff. Haste over here. And we are we're we're golden, guys. We are golden on this one. We'll throw in cleanup troops. I don't think I really needed to rage there, but we're gonna rage up anyways. I'm gonna heal up the balloons. We'll go ahead and haste right there. How did that air defense not go down? That's alright though. We're getting through. We'll go ahead and freeze that last wizard tower. And that's how you three-star rate. Oh my god, we have seven balloons left? Swag! Seven swag balloons. I thought I felt light on the balloons. Uh, swag, warden ability also. Oh, that raid was OP. Holy crap, that was ridiculous. This, man, this is actually working pretty decently. We haven't ran into like any clan castles or anything, but we bring a poison, we have heroes, we have the warden going in. That's really what would deal with the, the clan castle if it popped out like an enemy clan castle. So let's go back home. Uh, we completed a few things. We completed that golem challenge right there. We completed the dark elixir one. We completed our daily attack challenge. Let's see what rewards we get. We get a rune of gold. We get a rune of dark elixir. What? A rune of dark elixir. A bigger season bank. More elixir. Oh, yeah, guys. We're making some moves. So we get a book of heroes there at the end. We Oh, that's, that's looking nice. So let's go ahead. Mm, do we want to upgrade our king? I feel like I want to upgrade... I want to hit another raid or two before we upgrade that king, because I'm really enjoying this army right now. Let's hit, let's hit like another. Let's see, we got 20 minutes on boost. Let's hit two more raids. I'm, I'm just really enjoying this army right now. So we'll hit two more raids, then we'll upgrade that king. And I don't think that I have, I won't have a way to get him up a second time to use that rune of dark elixir. So we'll wait on that one uh, to get him up again. So I'll be back in a second with the next raid. Alrighty guys, this base has no eagle, so our objective is just going to be get the enemy queen out, a uh, clan castle, any air defenses, and we should be able to accomplish that pretty well. Uh, so let's go... Ooh, okay. I thought that uh, Archer Tower was going to target our wizards. I was a little bit concerned there. Let's slow our roll on the wizards. There we go. That's perfect. Uh, we'll get the... the king and queen going in in a moment. Wall Wreckers going in. King, queen, warden all going to go in as well. We just really need to break through this last wall right here. I think, oh, is the wall wrecker going to make it? I think it's caught up, but that's okay. I think it's caught up on that uh, storage right there, which it was. King and queen getting through. Warden, come back and follow everything else. 
All right, let's go ahead and hit the King's ability. I'm gonna hit the Warden's ability here. Try to keep those Valks alive a little bit. I was gonna rage up again, but now I'm not so sure. I'll hit the Queen's ability. God, everything's going around. I wanna get that single down so our Hounds don't like insta-pop. That's going down, go! Okay, nice. Okay, so we'll get there. We'll bring in some balloons over here. Is our army scuffed a little bit? Like our army's a little bit weird. All right, let's go ahead and rage up through here. Haste here. Those balloons over here on the on the right side are taking a beating, which is okay. We we can make that we can make that happen. We'll get that all in through here. That's better. We'll heal this. Haste through here. Haste over here. Oh, a couple minions there. Last balloon will just be clean up. Nice. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Do we have air larries in there? We'll freeze the king so the balloons can hit him. Nice. This, this army has been working really well. I thought about it since we're done with the golem portion, taking out a golem, but I was like, eh. It's working the way it is. Let's let, If it's not broke, let's not fix it. You know what I mean? Let's just keep it going. Keep that momentum up. We're doing some pretty positive things with this army right now, and that's that's what you like to see for sure. Uh, so we'll get through here. We'll get another three-star with the Go La Loon. This one didn't have an eagle. A little bit easier, but our kill squad's been doing a really great job, and the kill squad's so light that it hasn't been setting off that enemy eagle. But look at that. 800,000. 5k dark looks here like that that's screenshot worthy I, I just have like an archive of just random loot screenshots uh let's hit one more we'll be back in a sec Alrighty, guys so i'm getting bold and daring here i the heroes and war uh clan castle request time was like four minutes so i was like let's see how this army does without like heroes and like heroes are really what makes this work really well but uh we'll see what we can do uh might be able to work i don't know we'll, we'll see uh we're gonna go ahead we're going to get the two golems going in here. Start a little bit of a funnel before anything. Um, then we'll jump them in here in a sec. Alright. I don't really think we need a huge funnel. But, you know, we'll funnel a little bit here. I'm going to rage up there. I need to get that enemy queen down. We'll rage up the Valkies. Or, not the Valkies. The wizards. Because we need to get the queen down. We get a bow down. We'll, we'll try to take out whatever we can. Ooh, that, uh... That multi mortar just hurt a little bit. Now, I think we go in this side. This is going to be rough, guys. I think we go in this side here. Towards that air defense there. And kind of go from there. So let's go ahead and haste there, haste there. <laughs> oh, this is so rough. This is so beyond rough. Oh, and there's clan castle troops. The first time we come into clan castle troops, it's on this base where we have, like, nothing going on. Positively for us. Already threw all of our spells. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was, it was fun and worth a shot. Don't really care if we lose out. I was just curious. Uh, but this base, this base did some work on us. But yes, heroes are really honestly what makes this work really well. Uh, just because the heroes are able to get in there and do work as the kill squad. I mean, obviously the wrecker helps. That way we can get in there and the Valks are going to clear out. But that small kill squad are really what makes it the big difference there. I guess I should have waited because... I might end up actually going negative on loot on this one. I don't know. We cleared out the Dark Elixir. Most of the Dark Elixir here on the bottom. We got some gold. Eh, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. <laughs> That's what I get for being impatient here at the end of the video. But I'm really excited to upgrade my king. We get 3k Dark Elixir from it still. So we still go positive. But let's go ahead. Let's upgrade that king up to level 47. He's almost maxed out. And then we'll go ahead and use that Book of Heroes on him. A few more levels. And then we'll go ahead... We'll put one wall upgrade and we'll go and do one more archer tower up to max not bad guys not a bad episode at all uh we should be set up pretty decently for the next one honestly we're gonna have to wait a little bit though do we have any builder potions we do all right what do we have building yeah let's let's boost our builders for a little bit just to speed that up they'll take off almost a day so hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video again those town hall 9 details will be in the video later on today if you wanted to check that out i think i'm going to open the clans to nines and tens only no eights no twelves elevens nines and tens but thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a great day keep on clash bashing